Hi Cubers, so this is going to be a tutorial on the banana cube. This is a part of the Fanjin fruit series, okay, you've got an apple, there's, um, I've got a lemon here, they also do like a peach and, and a pear, stuff like that. But this is the banana, and as you can see, it looks pretty much the size of a real banana. Pretty amazing, really, looks quite good. The first thing I'd say is it's like a two by two by three. You don't have to know how to do one of those because I'm going to go through that with you on, in this tutorial. Um, bit pretty quick things, quite easy to pick up, not many algorithms to learn. It's quite fun. But first off, just check it and put your finger over because some of these pieces can be flipped and you'd not really know. So, And this one is, it doesn't go together amazingly well. It goes together pretty well, but run your finger over it so that you know that when you're fitting it together, you know what it should feel like. Okay guys, I've got a pretty good mix on this banana cube. And I see lots of people, you know, fudging around with these uh, banana cubes and stuff. And really you've got to revert to the cuboid version, which is a 2x2x3, two two which, is, which is the easiest cuboid. And what you've got to understand is there's a, there's a method. If you stick to method, it's easy as pie. And um, what we do is we start at the middle, then we go to the bottom and then we do the top. So to get the middle correct, the easiest thing to do is look for the big curved bit. Because these back pieces, they look very similar and you can get them switched and all sorts. So we've got this big curvy piece here. We'll find the other curvy piece. There it is. So we can do, you know, we can turn it around, but it's, it's quite obvious. It doesn't matter where it is. Simply, it can only be in one of three places. There, there, or here. So let's turn it here. And there's that first two middle pieces together okay now that's the curve yeah the curved middle piece is all we're worried about see all these bits they're you know they're incorrect really aren't they so we've got those two bits and we'll look at these back pieces and to me they look okay okay but we're not too sure at the minute it's a bit of a like i said before when you check the cube make sure you feel what it feels like it doesn't feel great to me so I'll turn it, I'm literally going to turn it 180 degrees. I feel it, yep, instantly. There's not a ridge there now, a tiny ridge, but not what there was before. So I think this is correct, and I think it's correct. Now what you've got to do is decide on your bottom. And I like, I like when I'm doing it, is to use the right side as my working side. So we can turn some of these around how we want. Oh, there we go. So instantly this piece, of all these pieces, I've turned them around and I've had this long, bottom piece this can be my bottom and what I want is the other piece like this to be here and what we do there in the cuboid is we find the piece which is this piece here yeah quite clearly that's got to be next to this piece this bottom bit and there's a move we're going to do when we do the move we're going to end up switching these two pieces so what I'm going to do out of simplicity I'm going to show you what to do there is a flipping move to flip these two but the easiest thing to do by far is to put a false piece in. So let's put this in so it's so obvious we know we've made a mistake. So we're going to put this piece in to here. And then once this piece is in here, we will then replace it with this correct piece. Okay? So what we're going to do, it's very hard to try and get all of this in, in, in the camera shot because it's, it's such a long cube. So we'll put this long wrong piece in to here. And what we're going to do, we're going to do a move called it's 2R upper, 2R upper inverse, 2R. Okay, now let's put that piece down, which we knew was wrong because we on purpose have put the wrong piece in, yeah? But as you can see, this has flipped, yeah? This middle piece is, is now all incorrect. These two pieces have switched, yeah? That's okay, because now we're gonna put the correct piece in, which is this piece here, yeah? So we're gonna put this here above where we want it to go, and we're going to do again. 2R, upper, 2R, upper inverse, 2R. Now the great thing is, is we've got these two pieces here, they're correct, and still our centers are correct, yeah? So these have all flipped back. So the center pieces are all done, and these two bottom pieces are done. Now let's look at the back. Well, look at that, we've already got one piece in that that looks that feels great to me that piece there that's brilliant we've got this piece yeah quite clearly in the wrong place so which of these pieces should come down here 
that's all we've got to decide it's on the top because there's only one piece to be put in place now on the, on the bottom now it's this little one yeah these two big ones so there's only one piece that can come down so it must be a little one so these little bits here they look they look similar but that's quite a bit smaller than that yeah so we're going to bring the other small triangular piece down and here it is it's in place so we'll, yeah, like as usual we put it above where we want it to go we're going to do the move well again we'll put a force piece in here because we know we're going to switch these two so instead of bothering with a flipping move we'll put a force piece in then put the correct piece in so that's correct so let's put an obvious piece in in fact let's take one of these other triangles down just to show you how how that's incorrect we'll take some of these other bigger triangles and we're going to put it here then we'll put the correct little triangle in so we're going to go 2r upper 2r upper inverse 2r yeah as i promised we've flipped our edge flipped our centers yeah middle pieces but this piece is here and you can see this bigger triangle yeah it's too big isn't it there's a massive ridge there then it shows on the camera compared to this little piece yeah there's a big ridge there you can see that so that's incorrect so we get the other little triangle there it is above where we need oh there's let's see nearly made a mistake that was the wrong one it's this little one here so put that little triangle above where we want it to go and we're going to do to our upper to our upper inverse to our okay let's have a look down here now there we go this bottom piece is done all these are done but one thing we know now is well like i said before i wasn't sure about these middle edges and these are incorrect okay so we thought they were correct because it, they married up with these big middle pieces but these quite clearly yeah that ridge shouldn't be there they're, they're, they're back to front so what we'll try and do we'll try and do this flipping move so we're going to try and flip these now anyway okay so we'll do this another move for the to flip these two pieces which is two upper two r two front two upper whoop, two front two r two upper two front okay you see so we've done that move and that's flipped these two so if ever you do get in a position where you, you've put all your pieces in you can sometimes flip these not only if we flipped them but they flipped upside down yeah so now you can see the banana is coming together we've got the center is completely done and the bottom's done and they're all feeling really good yeah and in fact the top looks done doesn't it look at the top we've got these two pieces correct aha uh -huh, but we haven't have we because the back's not correct that's not correct and generally on a cuboid what you'll find is when we get to the top layer there's two pieces correct and these are the two pieces that are correct okay and if you get two correct you put them on the left hand side and we're going to do a move that's very similar to the bottom move it starts off like the, the bottom move for putting the corners in the bottom move okay but if you've got none say all these four were all all incorrect you just do this move twice okay we're only going to have to do it once because we've got the two here that are correct so you put them in their correct place and we're holding them on the left and the move is, if you'll notice it, because it starts off like the other move, which is 2R upper, 2R upper reverse, 2R, okay, that's that part. Now we go on to upper reverse, down, 2R, upper reverse, 2R, upper, 2R and now we do this bottom piece we put that we reorientate that move that along and there as you know look at that simply by following the cuboid uh, method we've we've completed this banana no messing around just moving stuff up and down and starting at the top starting at the bottom start at the center then move to the bottom and if you find this piece is easier call this the bottom it doesn't matter which one you call the bottom or the top who knows that's the big question what is the bottom of a banana is it this or is it this answers in the comments below okay brilliant there is the completed 
banana cube. So, cubers, that's it. There is the completed banana cube. Next again, you can put your fingers across it and feel it's absolutely fine. And the one way to really be sure that you've got this back together correct, there's, you know, it's a fail save method. What I always like to do is peel the skin back and see if we've got it correct. And you know what? Mm, definitely. That's the only way to check you've got the banana cube correct. Absolutely perfect. Fantastic. Anyway, till next time, Cubers. I'll be Cubist you. You've been fantastic.